Let's see what we have here. Oh, perfect. Moss block. So there we go. And I right click on it. Look what happens. So the moss actually spreads. So if I grab this diamond hoe here and mine it out, it's actually completely converted that stone into pure moss blocks. Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC's world. In this episode of our amazing Let's Play, we're going to be going out and finding the best ways to get moss blocks as they unlock a huge amount of new items for Minecraft 1.17. But before we do that, we're going to make today's banner of the episode. We're going to start with a white banner and purple dye. The purple dye is going to be in the purple gradient shape. Next, we're going to go on to an orange base gradient, which is this shape right here. Next, we're going to go on to a yellow rondel, which is this shape right here. Then, we're going to go out and grab ourselves a thing charge made with a enchanted golden apple and a piece of paper. And we're going to make that pattern on the banner. And we're going to end off, last but not least, with the light blue base, which is this pattern right here. And you can see what it is, it's sort of like an ocean wave banner at sunset. So I thought that was a super cool banner, and I think we'll put it up here with the rest of ours. Of course, I love scenery banners, and this is no exception, so I'll put it up here next to our rows and all these other cool banners. So there it is, and of course, that uses that amazing pattern, the thing pattern, so it's quite nice. So on to what we're doing for today. Um, it's actually pretty simple. There are two things you can do to get moss in Minecraft 1.17. Now you may be asking, why would I need moss in Minecraft 1.17? Uh, well, the reason why is that basically moss unlocks a bunch of new items that are all very uh, useful and unique. Uh, so, for instance, uh, there is moss itself, and that item is actually so cool because what it does is it can convert other items into more moss, but what it can also do is it can get you moss carpets, azalea, and flowering azalea bushes. In turn, those unlock uh, flowering azalea leaves and normal azalea leaves. So, what are these two methods? The first is wandering traders. There's a very small chance, I think it's maybe about 1 in 8, 1 in 5 from what my tests have concluded, of wandering traders will sell you moss blocks. Well, that's all fine and good, but that can take a lot of time to get. There's one other method you can do, which we'll be doing today, uh, is basically checking out shipwrecks. Now, I know of three shipwrecks. Of course, these need to be generated in 1.17. Uh, but there is a uh, not so small chance, I don't know the exact number, but it's definitely uh, a good sized chance of getting moss blocks inside of a shipwreck. So our first shipwreck is over here, we're going to check that out. I probably should have brought in water resistance, uh, so once I know it's here, uh, then I'll probably fly back to get water resistance for the other two. Uh, this does not, so this is the food uh, slash plants chest. Uh, that would be the chest you'd find it in, so of course it's not in this one, uh, which is fine. Let me just get some air before we drown, uh, that would not be good. And if there's any treasure, of course we can grab that as well. I see a bit of light over there, I think that's from some... Uh, some glue like him, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't actually know if there's any other chests in this one. I don't think there are. I looked around a bit, but yeah, I don't think there are, so that's okay. Uh, anyway, so we'll go back and get ourselves some water resistance, but basically what we just want to do is find yourself some shipwrecks uh, that have generated 1.17, and you can get some moss uh, blocks from that. Uh, so we're going to keep looking around here. Um, I do have two others I know of. They're kind of in the northern ocean we have here. And of course some uh, water breathing would be a lot better. In fact, I might also get some uh, night vision if I have it perfect. In fact, we have a splash potion of both. I sh that should actually be enough because I know where both of them are. So we'll just splash ourselves with that, I guess. I think the f best way of doing this is like this. Uh huh. perfect, we have both. That's pretty cool. Looks like they both applied for uh, eight minutes. So we're gonna fly over here. Uh, and the first one is over here. Yeah, there it is. It's pretty close. And of course we can see it quite well. And with the water resistance, we can just uh, come in here and see what we can find. So, uh, okay, so this is the exact same chest. Uh, this is the type of chest you wanna look for, the one with the plants. Uh, that can't have moss blocks in it. Uh, so this one does not, uh, but we will check around here for some other things like uh, buried treasure map, that's pretty awesome. Uh, some other cool stuff I'm sure there is here as well. Oh, it looks like I'm getting uh, attacked by this ground. Something cool I learned a while ago actually is that axes have more damage than swords, which doesn't make sense to me, but that's cool. Ooh, a diamond. That's pretty awesome. I'm always a fan of buried treasure, or especially not buried treasure in this case, but we have ourselves the shipwreck treasure that already has the, the diamond in it, because usually you do have to go to a buried treasure for that. Uh, now, the other one is straight north, or, or not quite straight north, but uh, very close north here in the iceberg biome. A uh, beautiful one we have here, by the way. 
uh, lots of polar bears and it is just underneath the ice up here and we're going to look there for it now of course shipwrecks do tend to spawn uh, quite frequently so it shouldn't be too difficult to find um, them now I do have one around here let's see if I can find it okay here it is right under here perfect so we'll take a look around here again I'm not sure how many chests are in this one in particular uh, probably just one I guess uh, let's see what we have here Oh, perfect. Moss block. So there we go. That's uh, the moss blocks there. I will just grab that. And yeah, there we go. You can even see we got some new recipes with that. I'll see if there's anything else here because uh, while we're at it, we may as well look. I don't think there is, which is odd. So maybe the first chest that's in the shipwreck is always the the um, the kind of food chest. That would probably make sense, I guess, since you know every sailor needs food, but not every sailor needs uh, treasure or maps. Well, I guess they would need maps, but maybe not very treasure maps. So that's pretty good. So there's a mouse block, so we're going to do some experimentation with that, kind of, um, I'm going to show off all the cool things you can do with that, and yeah, so basically, we're going to want to find a space that we don't really uh, care about, just in terms of where it is, we could do something here maybe, this isn't the best place, but before we do that, we're going to want to get ourselves some uh, bone meal, so we do now have our moss blocks, and now I will show you guys uh, what to do with your moss blocks, so I'm going to go over here, also it actually looks like my stupid, uh, beacon here is uh, turned gray. Uh, if this happens to you, and if you did follow your uh, the tutorial I put out on how to make a rainbow beacon, I will just quickly show how to do that because it is a bit of a pain, but it's quite easy to fix, and once I've done that, we'll be right on to the moss block, so do not worry, that will be quite quick. Uh, so basically, what we want to do is that means that the redstone signal has kind of, uh, basically, it's a weird glitch with repeaters, and I hope they'll fix it one day because it is a big pain. But basically, repeaters can sometimes lengthen their signal a little bit by accident. So then basically, it gets longer and longer, slowly and slowly, until the entire thing is just all one signal. So what I want to do is break the current, so it basically stops going, and you can kind of see each of those retract, which is quite cool. And then just grab this and basically place it down, and then once it's gone and for enough amount of time, that might have been too long, that looks like it was too long, so we'll just grab that, and that might even be enough, just a little bit. Uh, that looks actually completely perfect, so we'll just put this in like this. Yeah, and for some reason this will slowly get longer and can sometimes mess up. Sometimes it doesn't, it's very odd. I think it's something to do with loading in and out of the world. Um, that'll tend to do it. So, anyway, here's our moss box, and we want to get ourselves some bone meal. Now, bone meal, of course, is a uh, very useful item overall, but in this case it's actually vital for this, because you cannot use this... Uh, without it. So, uh, of course, we do have a skeleton farm, uh, and because of that, we have a good amount of bones. So, oh, I've got some pre-prepared bone meal, get some more really, because this is basically all about the bone meal. And I'll also put away uh, some of this treasure, like our uh, shipwreck diamonds, pretty cool there, a bunch of other cool stuff as well. We can probably just uh, throw in these big chests, and uh, I don't know what you guys do, but in my Minecraft worlds, what I always tend to do is I will just fill up tons of chests with random items, and then later on I'll go through and uh, sort them. It just kind of saves time for me that way so uh, that's decent I'll just I have some uh, whole thing here just called mixed so I'll just throw all my unsorted items in here from those shipwrecks uh, that should be good so uh, we now have our bone meal and our moss blocks and I think that's actually all we need to do to uh, take advantage of the properties of these moss blocks uh, which there are quite a few so what we want to do is you want to get to an area of your world that you don't really care a whole bunch about. Um, I would suggest, well, in fact, it needs to be someplace that's either stone uh, or grass or deep slate or something like that, right? Something that's kind of like a mean stone material. I'm not sure if terracotta works or not. Uh, I'm going to have to do some tests on that later. So, basically, we're going to just break a block and put a moss block in. Now, this is where the magic happens. This is so, so cool. So, uh, obviously, normally with grass, you can place it down. It'll just kind of stick there like this. You can bone meal it and you'll just get, you know, grass like this. That's fine. Well, watch this. So, again, these are all stone, and this is just one moss block like this. When I right-click on it, look what happens. So, the moss actually spreads. So, if I grab this diamond hoe here and mine it out, it's actually completely converted that stone into pure moss blocks. So, you've actually actually dug out the stone, which is quite interesting. So this could possibly be a way of getting rid of stone. I'm not really sure a context in which that would be useful, uh, but it is quite cool. So we have a bunch more moss blocks now, and what you can basically do is just right click and right click and let it spread and spread and spread. And again, this is just one uh, bone meal I'm using each time, so they really are easy to spread this stuff. And uh, we can basically make a whole biome with it. Now, uh, obviously in 1.17, or uh, 1.18 that is, um, it'll basically happen 
is there'll be these whole biomes called uh, lush caves that will generate somewhat similarly to this. Uh, so basically what'll happen is they will have a bunch of the moss, they'll have a bunch of the azalea, a bunch of other things uh, too. And of course these do generate these stupid uh, tall grasses as well, but that's not a big issue. All right, so we have all this like this. And of course you could keep it here, you could farm it, uh, whatever you want. It is a really pretty covering for an area. Like I could definitely see this being something cool to improve the look of a mountain. Uh, if you have like kind of an ugly stone mountain or, or even just something like that. And you can kind of see the rough rate at which these items spawn. Uh, so there are some other cool features uh, with some of these items. So we're gonna kind of dig all this out. Now, you can basically see, it is really, really quick to dig this stuff out, which is cool because uh, obviously uh, you don't want something that's hard to get rid of. And because it uses the hoe, but none of these other items do, like, you know, grass is fast, this item is in a hoe. Now there is stone uh, or deep slate or whatever else you're gonna use. Uh, but uh, the moss is, which means that you can basically super easily dig this out, but not anything else. And as you can see, obviously, when you're in a tall mountain or even just kind of a, a normal sized mountain, it really doesn't make a lot of difference if it gets uh, one uh, one block deeper or you know one block removed or one layer of blocks removed, that is. So it's actually really, really easy to do this. And again, dig away some of these, some of these stone blocks are sitting there and you basically can never tell the difference. And it all starts from one moss block. Uh, so we got these things, uh, which is really good. We've got some interesting items as well. We have flowering azalea and normal azalea. Now, we didn't get a whole lot, but we did get a decent amount. And you'll definitely get some uh, quite quickly once you have your kind of starting moss. It's interesting how once you have one moss, it really unlocks a lot of potential. Uh, so with our starting moss here, uh, what we can basically do, uh, or with these azalea that is, so we get from the starting moss the azalea. Uh, now these kind of look like little bushes, you know, they're, they're pretty cool, they're kind of cute, you know, they could be somewhat useful for, you know, building, they're, they're quite nice, you can kind of see under here we have these nice little uh, tree trunk kind of things from them, uh, but there's actually more use to these in this case, they're, first of all, they're insta-breaking, which is really cool, but what's even cooler is the fact that they actually act as saplings. So I will show that off as soon as it is bedtime here, which it is. Uh, we'll just clear this off a little bit here. It's really cool. But again, uh, with these um, with these moss blocks here, uh, these moss carpets, they also have a use, which is basically, let's say we want to hide a light source. Now I don't actually have a light source on me. But let's say that this uh, moss block is the light source, okay? Let's say we put this on top here like this. Now this kind of sticks up like a uh, sore thumb, but if this was in a plains biome or a, let's say a forest biome or a biome that has a lot more greenery to it It actually blends in very very well So I'll just show that off real quick and then we'll go on to what happens with these um, azalea trees uh, Well trees, I guess I kind of gave it away. Uh, these are actually saplings. You can see that it really blends in uh, So we'll show off that and what's so cool. It doesn't really matter actually in fact it doesn't matter at all uh, Which one you bone meal so I would suggest bone mealing the one you have more of which I think tends to be about two uh, non-flowering azalea for one flowering azalea uh, Again, we'll just plant it up here for the sake of this being our testing area and if something goes wrong uh, Which it won't but you know me as well uh, test so we'll just place that there and we can just treat this right like a sapling. And if we right click, we get ourselves, if it was just one, I'm not sure if it's always one bone meal, but that was just one right there. We get ourselves basically what looks like an oak tree. Now it's not, obviously these are azalea leaves, they're not oak leaves. Uh, it is just oak wood, which is kind of unfortunate. I kind of wish Mojang would have added a, a consistent um, uh, azalea log, would have been very, very cool. But that's fine. So we get ourselves these really cool leaves. Now I believe, I believe that these just break nothing if you break them. They don't really break anything, like drop anything that is. Uh, there's nothing really of interest that these drop, I don't believe. I could, might be wrong on that, but I don't believe these drop anything at all. So yeah, so they're, they basically drop nothing. But if you right click on them with a hoe and grab them like this, because uh, that was a uh, fortune hoe. Oh, you know, look, it actually looks like they drop flowering azalea. That's actually quite interesting. Let's see here. Okay, they do. That's actually really interesting. They drop flowering azalea. I guess I'm learning along with you guys. Uh, so yeah, apparently they drop flowering azalea, which is really, really cool. Um, normal azalea as well? I don't believe so, but that's really cool. So what's really nice about that is that means that you can basically use it as a sapling. And aha, we've discovered something new. Here's something very interesting. Uh, the area where we bone meal that, look what we have here. This is not normal dirt. This is a special item. This is rooted dirt. So we've actually now unlocked one more 1.17 item, which is so awesome. So really, moss unlocks tons of new items from 1.17. But rooted dirt unlocks a item of its own. So this is really exciting. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just build up a bunch with these moss blocks. Again, these are basically super easy to get. You can see many have gotten now. So although they are quite valuable in their function, they are quite simple to get. And you can see they're they kind of act like TNT, where you actually can insta mine them downwards. 
So here's our root of dirt here. Watch this. If I right click on this, what do we have here? We have our, well, I guess I didn't break it with shears. That was a bit silly. Uh, let me just grab some shears and we can work on that. And we can also use those to get ourselves some flowering azalea leaves. We'll just go right through this front door uh, right here into our storage area. And we're going to get ourselves some shears. Uh huh. So shears we need. Uh, I guess we'll just get some iron or we could craft them. It doesn't really matter. Mm, what do we have in here? We have ourselves shears. Perfect. We don't need too many. Actually, we might need a good amount. So we'll grab ourselves a bit more iron to make a couple more pairs of shears because uh, that will be useful in this case. All right. So we'll fly out. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, that was so close. I'm getting pretty good. Okay. So we're going to go over here and you can basically see what we have created, which is a little small rooted dirt farm. So if we break this, what do we get? We get hanging roots. This is really cool. I th think you can combine these with dirt to make a root block. We'll find that out right away. Uh, I would think that's the case. Um, there might be a different recipe for it, but I do believe you can do something like that. So, so basically what it seems to be is if we bone meal one of these, uh, these give us, uh, give us the azalea trees like this. Now we can grab the leaves with, of course, a... Uh, shears. Now it does have an interesting sound to it actually. I like that. It's it's quite um, soft, not so harsh as like let's say the leaf breaking sound is. I really like that. In fact, I would be up for this sound being for breaking all the leaves because it's just really nice. It's kind of a nice uh, buttery sound almost. I'm not sure that's probably the wrong word for it, but it's just a very, uh, very soft sound. That's probably the better word. That really breaks nicely. Perfect. So, and then again, underneath here, what do we have here? We have one root of dirt. Now, I'm not sure if there's ever more than one root of dirt. It appears it's just one. Uh, but I do believe there's more ways to get root of dirt than just getting it this way. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to find that out. So, we're going to break this and we're going to do a bit of an experimentation here and find out how in the world we get ourselves uh, more of this thing. I just noticed a bug here, actually. If you guys uh, see this, uh, that is a huge item that is floating there. My word, do you guys see that compared to me? That is an absolutely massive item dropping on the ground. Let's just compare this with our bone meal for a second here. What in the world? That's a big item. That is so huge. That is hilarious. Can you guys see that? That is so big. Okay, that's obviously a glitch of sorts, uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, we still can get these items, but my word, that is big. Uh, hopefully, they'll patch that in the next update, uh, but anyway, so we're going to get ourselves some more dirt. Uh, we're going to see if there's a way to craft this. There must be. I mean, they generally do things like this, so let's see. Crafting recipes. Do we have a new one? Well, we have this. Now, here's something interesting, too. Uh, moss blocks are probably easier to get than vines, so this is actually a better way to get mossy cobblestone. Now, of course, it makes sense that mossy cobblestone would use moss instead of vines. I do believe vines are still applicable, uh, but there is a chance that uh, they are not. Now, would this work? No, it wouldn't. I'm probably uh, messing up the recipe, or maybe there isn't a recipe. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is really, really cool. So you can see here the moss blocks give us azalea. Uh, they give us daily leaves, uh, flowering azalea leaves, flowering azalea. Uh, they give us these moss carpets. Now, uh, you can see up here, uh, moss carpets are crafted with two moss blocks uh, for three moss carpets. So, as if these were wool. Speaking of wool, these kind of remind me of wool, really, the way they break really quickly, the way they kind of they th kind of sound and act. So, that's quite interesting. Uh, but overall, I think, like, this is just an amazing new addition, something we could use very well for so many different things. And again, super easy to get and can transform all kinds of blocks into it so you know something like this like let's see we have let's try 20 bone meals on this let's try to get the most we can out of this so let's go to the very edge of each one 20 bone meals see what we get i mean you could even break these every time but that's a bit of high effort so again just 20 bone meals we'll see how many we get like 20 bone meal that's like not even 10 bones that's maybe you know 5 10 skeletons so it's certainly not a big issue and you know, it really just represents how easy this is to get. So I uh, will just right click on all these and we can use all this for decoration. I mean, this is gonna be perfect for landscaping, for, you know, uh, excavating areas out, uh, just for really transforming areas into a lush wonderland. I mean, this minus these grasses, which I don't really like, although they might look good in like, let's say a jungle biome, uh, really do uh, transform the area. Like this is crazy. So this was just 20 pieces of bone meal. There's a good representation of exactly how overpowered this is. That's 20 bone meal. Uh, something crazy even is the fact that this is 20 bone meal, uh, but uh, when they were doing the snapshots of this, it actually generate even more with one bone meal. So we would have gotten uh, quite a bit more of this, which is quite interesting. So yeah, and just with this, we're getting ourselves, you know, certainly multiple stacks more of this. And because we're in the mountain biome, it really doesn't affect it much. 
these azalea trees are super cute and something you can do in fact our inventory is full that's uh, how much items we've gotten here which is absolutely crazy here how uh, prevalent these are going to be how absolutely easy they are to get and how prevalent they are I and mean, once you get your one moss you're basically set again that's odd with those hanging roots that's probably the weirdest thing i've seen uh, in a long time so let me just uh, put some of these items back and we can grab the rest of these in a second here so they don't despawn um, yeah, I don't remember hearing about a bug report on the hanging roots, uh, but it is a very unused item. Obviously, I don't actually think there is a use to it at this point. I don't even know if you can hang them on top of each other, which uh, is unfortunate, but I do think that would be uh, pretty cool if you could. Let's just grab ourselves a handy-dandy shulker box here, uh, because that would be quite useful for storing all these moss blocks, because there's just so many of them. The, the Just the absolute amount you get from... Bone meal is crazy, so I, mean, I can just see now, you know, servers, I could just see people just overrunning bases with moss blocks. It would be uh, probably really an overpowered way to, to grief a person is to, um, is to use moss blocks, really, because all you'd really need is one piece of moss and maybe a couple stacks of bone meal max, and you could just absolutely devastate an area with anything made out of stone, anything made out of uh, grass or dirt or, you know, um, I think the just normal uh, deep slate that is not cobbled and is not uh, turned into blocks, any of those really turn them right into moss. So I definitely hope uh, people don't abuse this too much, but it is really, really cool. Uh, we can grab the rest of these, and I was just thinking about it. Uh, some of these cool azalea leaves would actually look perfect in our banner gardens. Let's just see what items we have so far. Yeah, okay, that's decent. So, I mean, that is good. So, I think what we'll do is we're going to get ourselves a couple more azaleas. Let's say maybe we'll do three. I don't think we need more than three. These aren't too hard to grow. And we're going to get ourselves all the leaves off of those. And then from those, what we can do is we can make ourselves some nice bordering uh, to replace just the leaf bordering around our banner garden. I think that would be really good. Uh, these are nice small trees as well. These are... Oh, that was the wrong thing. There we go. Uh, they're not super large. They can be larger, it seems, but uh, they're definitely not large trees. And it's interesting how they kind of drop the other thing. I, I noticed they did not drop any sticks. That's really interesting. Uh, oh, there's the wrong item. Uh, that's really interesting because... Uh, trees do so these aren't really trees I mean, they're called azalea trees so i'm not sure uh these are the little shrubs i'm not sure those are exactly called probably just azalea bushes actually that would be the right word but no, these are just looking awesome um i mean these these are decorational trees in themselves i could see these being great to be planted around them even uh plant a few around my house that would be uh quite nice and maybe not permanently obviously you know new update features always maybe a bit overused uh, when people play new updates uh but overall this is very very nice and um the function of this isn't here yet but it will be soon so basically in 1.18 uh this is what these are going to be for Obviously, uh, 1.17 has all these items in, but most of them aren't really uh, in the generation almost at all. So basically, these are going to mark out the entrance to lush caves, which is, I think, is a really cool use. Uh, I think that's a really uh, ingenious way of doing that, and it kind of seems like something from the fantasy uh, kind of uh, genre, which is cool because Minecraft is supposed to be medieval, and that seems like something from fantasy, uh, you know, to have kind of trees with roots that lead to lush caves. So that's really cool. But you probably see these randomly generate uh, in small quantities around your world, marking out lush caves underground. Uh, but also the hanging roots, I believe, are kind of like a pathway down to that. Again, I'm not sure really since they haven't really incorporated it yet that much. Uh, but you can kind of see here part of that. And I hope maybe in the full update they'll actually add azalea logs. Um, that is very doubtful just because of the way Minecraft's been adding uh, new things in lately. Uh, they really haven't been adding in uh, any new wood variants except for the nether wood, which isn't really wood. Uh, since really, I think 2013 when they added jungle wood, or actually, you know, that would, it's not true. It'd be acacia and dark oak would be, uh, I'm not sure exactly when that was, maybe 2014, probably something like that. Um, but yeah, they definitely haven't been adding uh, new wood variants uh, willy-nilly at all. Although the, uh, the nether wood is very close to a new wood variant. So, here's all this. And before we're done for the day, we're just going to go over here and uh, pretty up our banner garden. I think flowering azalea leaves are the way to go. Uh, we're basically, we're not probably going to replace the whole thing right now. But at least these arches, I think, oh, these are looking, oh yeah, look at this. This is like... Um, uh, what, what do you call it? I guess landscape, really? But that's really cool. And look at this. this the, the, the texture of this is beautiful. And I think that color, that kind of kind of lime green that's just very natural looking, really, really complements uh, this area overall, uh, which is awesome. So we're going to break this, and we can get ourselves a nice flowering arch. Uh, this also really matches our flower color, since it's kind of a mix between red and the rest of that. Looks like we got a, a bit of a apple there, which is kind of funny. 
So just throw these all in here like that. That's looking so cool. And that really does also uh, have us incorporating some new features since, you know, always nice in a new update to have ourselves some new features uh, in here. And we'll probably just do like that. And there's our super cool Azalea wall. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode with me exploring all the amazing features around moss and azalea and rude dirt and all the other features that are unlocked by finding yourself a moss block in your Minecraft world. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button, make sure to subscribe to see more content like this, and make sure to ring the notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. I'll see you in the next video and have a good day. Goodbye!